Alright, so the temperature is 78 degrees, uh, January 6th. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing uh, too much uh, cold weather testing today. Hmm. Alright, so since it's like 78 degrees outside, and um, that's just Louisiana weather, we have to get these batteries cold to see uh, what happens to people that are in the cold. So we have this uh, pretty big chest freezer. And let's see what we have going on here. We've got uh, four of our batteries in a 2S2P configuration. We've got a Victron 24 volt inverter. And we've got a Servo GX Mark III. And we've got a little Ruby tag that's kind of me measuring the temperature uh, of what's going on. So uh, this is about uh, uh, 10 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's below freezing. Uh, let's see what's going on with the batteries to see what's going on. But you'll notice that they all have the little blue indicator on, so it's cold. Now, this is not the same as a real environment. Obviously, we have some portions of the freezer are colder than the others. You won't have to necessarily uh, have this in a real situation. But let's look at our VRM and see what's going on to see what the temperature is and compare. All right. So let's now talk about the SFK driver and the SFK uh, batteries and what we can do to help solve any type of uh, heating problems. So we're on SFK uh, driver 3.39 and we have, uh, you know, these batteries set up. Uh, now, if you're not familiar with this, don't worry. We have a full manual explaining this, but uh, we want to go to our virtual battery and sort of our configuration. Uh, this basically tells the Servo or the Venus OS how we have our batteries configured. So in this case, we have two in series, two in parallel for 24 volt, 630. We also have series balancing so that even though our batteries are in series, they stay balanced. Uh, you can discharge any battery that's higher so that it always is equal with the rest. And uh, that's something that we can uh, set up. And this battery is configured to keep uh, balance in series. Uh, if you want to learn more, we've got some videos explaining that. You can check that out. Um, the other thing we want to uh, discuss about is uh, this particular video is heating. How do we deal with heating? So we have the synchronized heating menu. And if we go into the synchronized heating menu, we can sort of see what's going on here. So it's currently enabled, and you'll see we have a temperature range of a 41 to 55. So that's basically telling the system, you know, uh, make sure no battery falls below 41 and make sure no battery is above 55. And we can change that too. So if you want a different sort of range between 35 to 50 or 46 to 60, you can set that up. Now, the reason we have a range is we're not just dealing with one battery. We're dealing with multiple batteries. And since we're turning heaters on and off, not all batteries are going to charge up or heat up equally. But they'll all be using power. So we want to keep our power draw universal across all of the batteries. That's why we have a range. Uh, for this test, we'll keep it at 41 to 55. I think that's going to be a good solid number. And so that's what we have selected here. All right, so let's go back to our settings. And what we're going to do is uh, do some little more settings. Uh, we can go to actually all devices and see all of our batteries. As you can see, we see our four batteries. We see our Ruby tag, which is currently freezer temp, and it's 10 degrees Fahrenheit. And at the very bottom, we see our virtual battery, which is 2S2P 24 volt. So as you can see, even though we have 12 volts, we've combined them. But let's actually look at a particular battery. We can see case temperature 1 is 41 degrees. Case temperature 2 is 43 degrees. So already a 30 degree difference. Uh, the Ruby tag was saying 10 and we're already 30 degrees warmer. Uh, so clearly, you know, something is going on to keep these batteries warm and that's the internal heating. But we're not necessarily charging or discharging. It's maintaining it no matter what. So if we look at another one, this is, like I said, this is 85. And oh, look at that H. You see that H? That's an indication when the heaters are turned on. So that's what the synchronized heating is doing. It's turning on heating for all of the batteries simultaneously. And it's going to try to keep them within that 41 to 55 range uh, or whatever you set up on. And when it runs, it runs it to where, you know, it's pulling and then it'll run for a little bit, stop. If it hits the right temperature, then it'll stop. Now, as you can see, this one, 38, case, case one's a little lower, 38, 42. So it's probably going to run again when it does its polling again. All right, 
And if we look at maybe another battery, you can see this one's 4247. So already you are seeing, you know, not all batteries are going to be around the same temperature. Some might be closer to a, you know, gust or wind, a wind source, so they might be cooler and, you know, others will be uh, slightly warmer. So that's why we have the synchronized heating as a range because, you know, the batteries are going to be exposed to different ranges. And this is a more realistic thing is, you know, consume the power that you need to keep them uh you know warm but don't necessarily only heat one and not the other and then you end up with an imbalance where you know it's going to take longer to balance out um and yeah by doing this way you have that flexibility of running them all all right so going back to the venus uh sfk driver menu you can see again version 3.39 is the one we are recommending you try this on there are some versions previously had it, but 3.39, I think we've got the synchronized heating logic down pretty well. So it works on 315EX, uh, some 300HP, and some 275EX batteries. Uh, so as long as you got one of those and you're on the correct firmware, you should be able to get this enabled. So try it out when you get the chance. If you want to improve the heating performance and you happen to be in a cold weather, considering getting one of these, our insulated battery jackets. Let's see how they look inside and how your battery fits. So this is a bespoke for us, fits the SFK 315EX and 24 volt batteries and basically any of the batteries or kits we sell. So let's take it out of the little wrapping bag and see how they look like. So you can see the insulated bag, it's got a flap, it's got a hole so you can run the data port wires so that will let it in. And then in the front you've got these access points where you can run the main uh, cables. When you're done you can zip it up and this is going to increase the uh, heating performance tremendously uh, almost a three uh, fold improvement over just stock so highly recommended if you're in cold environments consider getting these there you can get them for half off when you buy the ba buy them with the battery so if you're in a cold environment and you want the ultimate protection i think the sfk batteries with victron make an excellent choice uh, you get the ability to run standby heating or in this case uh, victron drive uh, heating where the Serbo GX actually is uh, turning the heating on and off which we think is fantastic because synchronized heating makes sure all batteries are charged and discharged evenly and uh, you know we ha with the series balancing you can also make sure that they stay in balance in series so yeah check it out they're available and uh, it's the now is the season to use them so we've got plenty in stock all right thank you and once again thanks for choosing Sun Fun Kids